breathing postmasters and guests. <laughs> Stable topics is a long standing tradition of postmasters intended to help you members to develop your ability to gather and organize your thoughts to towards impromptu questions and topics. What's that? Today I will be calling the speakers on stage and give the topic to speak. We will speak for a minimum of one minute and a maximum of two minutes. Time may stand still when you are the table to speak, but still you are the pilot. How do you prepare for impromptu speaking? Prepare impromptu may sound like an oxymoron, self contradicting but you can use some techniques as demonstrated by Prof. Master Gopal behind the sir in an earlier session. You can go through that video on our YouTube channel and I urge all the new members to subscribe to our channel and other social media links which were shared by our EPPR Postmaster Manish earlier this week. Then come to today's table topics. You are taking a lot of things for granted, like the earth moving around the sun. It has been doing that before most of us were born. But what if it changes tomorrow? So what is really the topics for today's table topics? Our first speaker may call upon Professor Sudhir. What if the sun doesn't set? What if the sun doesn't set? Good evening, Toastmasters and guests. We have to think about something implausible with today's topic. It is like saying, What if you live forever? Now, that is something clearly out of our ordinary mode of thinking, right? What if the sun doesn't set at all? I can have an infinite planner for one thing. I will be happy that I can meet any number of people. I can do my entire life work <coughs> possibly in one day. I would think on the positive side of things. However, my manager will be even more happy. He will alert me more and more meetings. He will ensure, he or she will ensure that I don't get a moment's rest. And thanks to the topic, I cannot even look forward to going home and having a cup of tea at the end of the day. Because there will be no end of the day. <laughs> I will probably end up inviting my wife and my children to the office. So that is all I can speculate about this kind of uh, topic. I hope I don't end up spending this Monday in the office. <laughs> Positive note, 
you can do whatever you want, you can achieve whatever you want and uh, you, you will not be bothered about time limit. You have to complete this assignment or this uh, kind of uh, work within that much time. That restriction will not be there. So that can continue uh, till whatever time uh, it may take. So you can do it in better way and you can achieve more than what you could have done with a, a 60 years of uh, lifespan or 80 years of lifespan. If you want to see it in a negative way, you will be given for 200 years, you will be fed up with all other uh, surrounding things <laughs> with your boss, with your colleague, with your uh, family members. So you will end up in that situation. That's what I can uh, think of. Thank you so much. I would sit with her 
and I would chat more and really get more information and learning from her. That's what I would like. conventional school and the education system that we came about is uh, the Gurukula system. And even prior to that, everyone learned from nature. So I think if there was no such formal education system like schools or colleges, a lot of parents would be happy not having to worry about admission fees and donations. And at the same time, it would be one more unconventional way of learning through nature, mother nature itself. This way, I think people would be more uh, going back to their roots, learning the crude tools of survival, as well as picking up the values that they really should over time. Here, we have the formal education system maybe to bring some sort of order in the chaos that is there, but I think it would be perfectly well lived without schools and colleges. Also happens 
long time ago, like there was no man on the earth actually. The way that the galaxy was created, that, that is the duration, this, the statement is still true actually. It is not that it is not true. There was a time where there was a man, no man, but maybe that there was a plant or the way that it was created. Maybe one part of the time, the man appeared, what are the meanings? So, this cycle, what the God has created, maybe he is actually, Ganapati, maybe he is a creator, he is putting his all his thought and his <laughs> As a Lord, he thought how to make the sun, how to make the people and the destiny, so maybe he is putting all his thought in his today's uh, table topic. That is the way it has happened. Like, I don't think like anything would have happened, but slowly evolved and maybe again the man would have appeared after some time. That would have been the normal story. And that's what I can say about I hope everyone had a good session. Imagine a language session today, but one of the things we can think about like sunset, what if there is no sunrise? If that means it will be continuous, or what if there is no gravity? Just think nice, that's all. Over here.